What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my bud and Mike. <laughs> What's going on, Chris? What's going on, everybody? All right, guys. So this is our second episode of our rewatch react uh, series going on, but we decided to change it up a little bit. The first episode we did uh, watching Walking Dead season one, episode one, we did actual like lot like a live reaction slash commentary. It's more like a commentary. Uh, Mike and I watched that, you know, we, we edited it, you know, Mike did a great job editing it. He threw it up. We're looking at it. I'm like, you know what? We've, we've decided what we're going to do is more of a discussion as opposed to a live reaction. So, uh, you guys have seen th- these episodes a hundred thousand times. Probably I haven't Mike Except has, for you. Yeah. <laughs> right. So th- the whole purpose is, is to just being that where we are now in season eight, mid season where, when we're filming this right now, if you're watching this later, then this is when we're filming this. We're waiting for, this is January, 2018. We're waiting for mid season eight to start again. Yes. And we kind of like, so we want to do a couple things. We wanted to reflect on the first season, see where they were as to where they are now. I haven't seen these episodes in since they first aired <laughs> essentially. And you know, so it's been really, I mean, we only did this is a second episode, but, it's been really fun going back and look. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to briefly Absolutely. talk about this stuff. Um, so we, But we just changed the format just a little bit here. So we're not doing a live reaction. We're just going to do more of a discussion. So yeah. having said all that, yes. welcome. Um, and yes. Mike, welcome. you've got some questions for me. I do. I do have a couple questions for you. One of my favorite episodes, of course, one of my favorite scenes. I say this every freaking time, but yeah. don't. I never get tired of this of right. these first, first couple seasons. But All right. So first off, right in the beginning. Lori uh, and Shane are hooking up in the woods and Lori takes off the necklace that she has, like her wedding bands and stuff like that. And, and uh, she places it on the ground. Right. What just, what do you, th- what do you think when you saw that episode? Right, so, what, what came to you? Well, the first thing I saw when we went to that and we saw that, I was like, Oh look, it's Dale on top of the damn RV again. <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you what, overall, he spent a lot of time on the, on the top of the overall. RV I did a lot of, Oh, hey, it's this character. Oh, hey, it's this character. Like, there's a lot of characters that yeah, when I, when I re- and stuff is there. Yeah, when I really think about it, I didn't like them, but it was nice to see them again. So, yeah. <laughs> so he, all right, so to answer your question, yeah. that was some gross sex in the woods. It's just some nasty, gross sex. When she does that, look, they just assume he's dead. And, uh, you know, we talked off camera, and you had said that there was a, uh, a um, a theory that that was the first time they had sex and then i don't believe that at all okay i i i, I think that that's not i think that they it's had happened before that it's happened before well maybe hooked up but maybe they're just going all the way you don't think so i don't know he kind of made it the way they were doing it made it kind of seem like they've already kind of done it before <laughs> anyway she does well, she, like, i'm she sure takes... they've done it with other people just maybe no not. no no. i meant with each other man <laughs> i know she takes the thing off and i'm like all right well obviously it's it's a sh- it's a shame thing mm-hmm. not a shame thing but like a shame thing as yeah. in we both don't want to be looking at that because we know what what it's about but yeah. you and i are adult are adults we're here now we're living this we're doing this and whatever so well, yeah it was you know it was a little a little strange, right? Uh, well, a lot strange. It's just gross. Strange. Like that's just in the wood. I mean, he's like kissing her, and she's like, she's probably gross. And oh my god, of Shane course, don't care man. though, man. Shane's a Shane's a nasty boy. He's he a dirty care. dog, man. He he's is a, a dirty, dirty dog. dog. How about the fact that it was funny too? Because how about everybody always bitched throughout this show how they just let Carl run off and he would just roam around and no one yeah. knew what the fuck he was doing. Lori is walking around to get a, her freak on in this woods and she's freaking out, you know, because she's hearing all these noises and then Shane finally comes and like kind of right. like tackles her. You know what I mean? It's just, just so funny how they're just so careless and they know that, you know, it, it, it's funny because it's the beginning of the show. It's the beginning of the series and we're seeing how naive they were and how safe well, not as much that the walkers were the biggest threat at this moment. So I just thought that was just funny that she's well, walking around through the woods. And well, you know what? It's kind of new. And, Think about it. Yeah. They have this new th- – and it's kind of – you very quickly, like, fall into a into a routine anyway. Mm. That's just how what we do yeah. as humans. Um, yeah. What else you got for me? Because I have a couple things, but I want to see where you want to go first. Well, I got one more little question for you to pose. Kind of like an idea. What would you? What was your reaction by seeing it? Now, there's a scene where – where Shane is teaching Carl how to tie knots. Oh, right, and yeah. Lori's, you know, doing the Make lawn. Pain. Everybody, yeah. Everybody's kind of like doing what they have to do around the camp, like their daily stuff. Yeah. And, and Lori sees 
Shane doing this. And she kind of gives like a smile, like, yeah, this is my my new guy kind of a thing. And mm-hmm. even after the news, when T-Dog and everybody's trapped and T-Dog was trying to get over through the walkie talkie and right. everybody hears over, you know, even though it didn't come through hundred percent clear, you still get those messages. Like we're trapped, we're trapped. And Shane was like, no way we don't risk anybody else in the group. Right. Amy's no way we're going. Red. Amy's all pissed off. Yeah. Cause obviously Andrea's there and Andrea uh, volunteered to go in. So I'm just wondering it, even after all that, Lori was still like, I understand what you're doing, Shane. You're right. Um, how would, how would, well, what do you think about that? And do you think Lori's, uh, just, do you think she would go along with it, uh, go along with that if Carl was with them or somebody else close to her, like Amy and Andrea? No, I don't. Th- all right. So I don't think, I don't think so. I think Lori would have, if it was someone that she cared about like that, then she would have been like, no, I'm, I'm going. Like she did, really. I mean, re- yeah. One thing with, with 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 her is that that's how she is. Like when when it was up, when it was her family, like she was, she was like, "No, nah, I'm doing this. This is what I'm gonna do." Like, to very selfish, family. right? They all are, man. You know. So <laughs> I wanna I wanna go back to the the apartment store. So there was a lot. Okay, so I, like I said, I saw Andrea. I'm like, hey, hey, it's Andrea. Oh God, it's Andrea. Like when she so shows up, and I swear to God, watching that scene was like. All I could see was the bad lip reading video that they did. Right. <laughs> I need a, I want a banjo. Give me your banjo. You know, yeah. like if you guys haven't seen the bad lip reading version of that, it's oh, hilarious. hilarious. Just go to yeah. uh, Bluetooth. What? Go to YouTube and type in bad lip reading walking dead. It's hilarious. And then, and then I was like, Oh, Morales. Oh, Morales. That's right. I'm like, still F that guy. I don't care about that guy. Yeah, no. And then, uh, then T dog. I'm like, Oh damn T dog. And then you got Merle up on the roof. Like I, Merle's my, f- I love, fucking, I forgot I love him, all dude. these. Yeah, dude. I didn't realize he's, he's calling him the N word and he's in there. Yeah. And then like, dude, he punches Rick and he's just like, mm-hmm. and Rick was, Rick's like, like he's never gotten punched before. He just like, fall. <laughs> did you see that though? And he's like holding his jaw. Like, I just got punched. Yeah. This doesn't yeah. happen to me, but that was a really cool scene when he's like, he locks him up on with the handcuffs and like the whole, watching the whole thing was like, Oh yeah, that's right. Cause when you, when I, when I watched it and the mm. first time you're like, I don't know what to expect. And Oh, this is crazy. And then it's in yeah. your head and you have these memories of it. And then you see it again. You're like, Oh my God. And I'm sitting there going, where the hell's Daryl? Where the hell's Daryl? Like, I don't even remember when Daryl comes in, like wow. where the hell did Daryl go? Like, and he's, and, um, and then when he, um, you know, Rick took, like Rick took charge right off the bat. Oh, hell yeah. Officer friendly, you know, like right off the bat. And mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, okay. Now, it, so, so, and very, you know, essentially that was like the first episode. Think about it. Yeah. Episode one was like a setup. And now this is like the first episode. And then Wish. seeing Glenn, I was like, oh, Glenn, damn, man. It sucks. Like know, he I was a kid. Thing. Like he looked like he was a kid. If yeah. anyone grew yeah. out of the whole show, it would have been Glenn. Glenn, they made him this like, you know, he started out as this like young guy. And then mm-hmm. he ends up, oh, excuse me. And then he ends up becoming like this, you know, grown yeah. man, and, you know, and he's gonna, and he got married, and like, it's so cr- great how how he changed, yeah. you know. So he's how, one of the characters that really went through like a a, a, a metamorphosis. You yeah. Know? Well, I wrote this down, and I told you this uh, before we started recording that uh, specifically about Glenn. How when Glenn first uh, first rescues Rick and tells him, you know, on the on the walkie talkie oh, right, yeah. in the tank and stuff, and um. Rick says to Glenn, you know, you know, why didn't you help me? And and Glenn's like, hey, listen, you know, I just feel like if I was ever stuck in this kind of situation that, you know, um, I hope someone would, would do the same for me. Yeah. And it's just it's such a telling line because that's how even though even though Glenn became a more powerful guy, because look, right. if you were to see Glenn like we just saw him and how he um even when he did like the Glenn smash thing, when he was trapped in the governor's chambers and stuff like that, he, he just changed into a powerful, uh, like a fighter. He had to, well, yeah, you know I mean, he, he, yeah, he had to turn it, but into that, that stayed the same. That part of Glenn we've seen throughout. Yeah. The that bright, the brightness, the, yeah, that, and you that's, and I mean? that's that, really cool. The, the helpful part, the person that yeah, will go. He's a good dude. You know, man. To be, yeah. Look what he did. Look what he did a little bit further down in season two with the whole pregnancy scare stuff with, with, um, Lori, how Lori confides in Glenn to go get the, 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 the pills and stuff right, like that. Yeah. To, you know what I'm saying? Like Glenn will do whatever he has to do for anybody. And he's just a good dude. And I just thought that was a really telling 
line. Going uh, back now and seeing that, absolutely. And it's funny know. because so I'm going to give you some observations and stuff. So mm-hmm. totally forgot that they called them that they called them geeks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Totally forgot that they all started calling them geeks. Uh, T Dog was super annoying and super token. <laughs> I I don't I can't I barely remember him being that token man, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and he's wearing a thing a shirt that says Brooklyn on it, and it's like, <laughs> I was like, wow, dude, very comic booky dialogue, very, like you could literally see the word bubbles above their heads. He's like, well, I'm Officer Friendly, you guess, or something, you know, and like, yeah. and then when Myrtle's talking to T Dog, that conversation, or when he's talking to Andrew, he's like, hey, how about you let me out of here, sugar tits, and we can yeah. go uh, bump some uglies, like, yeah. very comic booky dialogue, and which is great because. It, that was the comic book. Like it was very, you know what I mean. Like, and Merle can play that. I love, I love Merle. Everybody that watches third. Oh, person Michael Rooker is just awesome at it. Yeah, he's, he's just an awesome he's actor. So guy. he just stood out. He stood out. Um, and this group of actors that we see, characters on the show that we saw in this episode, I mean, he stands out. I mean, I didn't mind Andrew. I know you guys really can't stand Andrea. I mean, I, I can see where she can where she became but i always liked andrea yeah um but but merle man you know what i mean he was always just a great character and him and rick have a really you know cool... he michael rooker almost didn't get that part the casting you know that story um well i know that i know that norman reedus went for merle and they liked merle but i don't know no if... the, okay so that so real quick the casting people wanted michael rooker and they're mm. like this is he's the he's the guy he's the only guy that could play merle but yeah. Durabont didn't like him because he was supposed to do a film with him years prior, but he got an offer to do something like more money for something else. And he's like, I don't know how to tell this guy. And his, his agents were like, Oh, we'll tell them, but they never did. So oh, all these yeah, years later, that. Rooker comes up to be in this part and Durabont's like, screw that guy. That guy screwed me over this and that mm-hmm. come to find out like, Oh no, you know, Rooker's like agents didn't say shit to him. And, and so he thought that he wow. just bowed out and never said anything. So Rooker ended up writing him a letter explaining it all. He hand wrote him a letter. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, he read that's... it and he was like, oh, "I'm sorry, right, you know, like my bad. Like that, I, I had I had no idea. I just found this out myself." He's like, "I would have done done that anyway." So long story short, he's in The Walking Dead and um, very cool stuff. So I want to keep going with this. Uh, there are a few things that I noticed, and mm-hmm. watching this was a real a real cool reminiscent like a real cool walk down the walking dead memory lane for me. And there's a lot of things. So in the store, Andrew's looking at this mermaid necklace and, and Rick's like, go ahead, take it. You know? And she's like, well, it's like, it's not like looting. And he's like, that's not a thing anymore. You know? So they touched on that subject of like looting. Cause these are all questions you have. Like, I feel like they, in this episode, they answered a bunch of questions. Like they're, they're showing like, this is what the world is now. Mm-hmm. These, these are who people need. <laughs> Excuse me. These are who people need to be. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, I like when... So, again, the zombie guts. Like, right off the bat, we got the zombie gut, um, zombie guts uh, trick. And I thought that was really cool. Like, And it just shows Rick is, like, on point. Like, he's just like, oh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do this if they smell. Like, he just, boom. Like, again, very comic booky because they, they only had six episodes. They didn't know if it was going to get picked yeah. up. So they just kind of went for broke and said, we're going to do this, 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 and this, and this. So what I thought was cool was when he checked his wallet first. Like, he I was, was about say, to do it. That. Yeah, yeah, I wrote He checked that. his wallet. And, you know, the, the funny joke where he's like, oh, he's an organ donor. You know, like, Glenn <laughs> always had those observations. That was cool. But it brings All up right. in my mind, it brings up a point. Like, these are things that they don't do anymore. There's no sense of, there's no sense of, oh man, look, I mean, look, we've been through a lot of stuff, through Terminus, through the Wolves, through uh, that short-lived, you know, with the, a group on the road where he rips out the dude's throat. I forget their name of that little group. Um, but What do they call them? Well, you can yeah. think about it while I keep talking, but you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, there is a lot, like, I, I, I want to be like, it, it wasn't like this anymore, but Mm. I know they've been through a lot, and it, and, and 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 especially Terminus was like, oh my god, like Terminus had them down on their knees, and you know what I mean, and like, yeah. um, now Terminus was after the governor, so the governor, like the stuff with the governor, like it was, it was intense, it was bad, but this opened up, so 
So like they get the truck to the back and they're and they're all rushing and T Dog goes up there to save him and he trips and the key goes off the thing. Like that's just like none of that stuff happens anymore. Like that was just that was just fun. Like really cool. It like, was great. If they had scenes like, oh no, like, oh, yeah. he dropped the key, like, oh, and he's like, he's like, You're on now, you're on now. Like that was right. like like they don't it was just, have, it was just so fresh, dude. Just, it, it was but it was that's new. What I'm saying. They did so many things that they don't do. I now. understand. I understand. And then it I rains understand. on them, and it like wipes out the stuff. And then, like you said, the, yeah. okay. So, so let's. We're at 15 minutes, and I don't want this to be yeah. very, very long. But yeah. let's get let's get to the walkers. Couple things. Uh, I know we yes. said it off camera, but I'll rat them off. All right, the rock. Yes. All right. Yes. Busting through. Yes. Climbing over yes. the fence. Yes. All right. Uh, when they're walking and they're getting found out as with the guts are getting off of them, they're like, you know, all of a sudden they're like, you know, I mean, they're given these walkers personality and, and, and you had mentioned it again. We did a lot of talking of camera guys mm -hmm. to uh, set up for this, but Mike was saying how they, and I know I'm, I'm taking up the lion's share of talking at the moment, but um, it's okay. You said how, like, you know, some of, some of the, the, the makeup look good and other it, others just look like they're a mask because they were masks. That's what they gave them. They gave them just basic. Well, it's not, Halloween it's masks. almost like, it's like some, some of the walkers looked like, all right, let's put a majority of the budget for the makeup on these 20 people or well, something. That's what they did. Yeah. But they man. still, they still had to fill. You know what I mean? They still yeah. have to fill these close up shots. And some of them, it's like, all right, let's put a little gray makeup on. Let's put a little black under their eyes. Uh, they, they, and so inconsistent. And like things that, yeah. yeah, things that they would never do now, especially since the fucking budget. I can imagine what it is now. And you have uh, uh, the Greg Nicotero doing a fantastic yeah, job. Stuff, but yeah. it's just so funny how, you know, um, some of them just looked really good and just some of them. Someone just real bad. What like about Halloween so, store stuff? But Yeah. And so what about their sounds? horrible dude it was literally the actor just going arr, arr, arr. <laughs> and like now I like glenn. what about when glenn was when they were walking yeah he's through, like was making the noise, arr, you know and um and the girls looking at him um a couple things but, man there's like a lot i want to talk about these zombies but those sounds were just they're just ridiculous mm. they sound so horrible now was, hearing that was the, before the, the right and now they have a soundtrack they have the zombie soundtrack like it sounds just like that low rumble that they mm -hmm. put over and then the the, the it just sounds so good now compared to that yeah um do you remember as they're walking okay and it, yeah. and it, it comes up they're coming up over the ridge and then it gets closer and it gets closer and then there's just, just this one zombie that's just following them for that one shot and he's just kind of like looking at him and he's like right behind him. And then it cuts to the next shot and I can't find that zombie. There wasn't anyone there. I was like, that, the dude, I'm like, they, you know that they, that, they, right. they you know that, that dude it was in the shot at the time. And they're like, look at this guy. This guy's awesome. And then like, that was it. They had to keep that in. Yeah. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, But all right, yeah. going back to them. So obviously they had an idea for these zombies that's evolved so 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 much okay but thing. i think it devolved at this point because where we are now those zombies i mean yes they yes i well the basic like like we were saying the climbing of the fence you won't see that the 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 speed that they 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 almost ran in a lot of yeah, these, using the you know rock I mean? like is that is that the, because they were fresh and is that because i just they think were it fresh? was maybe no because there's still fresh zombies now on the new show are they though? Because those yeah. are those are tore up. Not every single zombie we see started from the beginning of the apocalypse. Someone dies tomorrow. If Rick Carl's gonna but die. But those, but those are still that's still fresh. It's a fresh turn. But what I'm saying is, you they know? got rid of that cognizant, like, oh, thing. right away, right away within the first few, you know, first few episodes. But that's, but even yeah, but that, but like that would have been interesting. Okay, so my whole point with that is, is that yeah. It was, they're not lethal anymore. And the humans are way more lethal to the zombies than they are, than, than the reverse. And mm -hmm. the only way they're lethal, the walkers, is if it's in a large number. And that's, and that's basically it now. For the most part, yeah. You yeah, know, I'm because sure they just got too good or... at killing them. But you know what? I miss that we don't know what to expect thing mm -hmm. i mean we you know i mean it's you know what it's just good to go back and watch it and i just it I mean, is it's 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 there was great. some I'm real glad. hustle in this one and 
And I know the next one's going to be crazy. <laughs> and Seeing- Glenn, when they got the car, the Camaro, and Glenn is flying down the, you know, the bear, the barren, yeah. empty highway and stuff. Like that was cool. Just, he's like, "Come on, get closer." And yeah. he's like, and then they attack the car, and he backs up, and then he, and then I didn't know Glenn was a professional stunt driver. Apparently, <laughs> well, and he just one eighty's that crap. He's a pizza and guy. Remember, pe- you know? dips out like. Yeah, it's it's just really it's really cool to see these. Um, I'm glad that we're doing this. I'm glad that you're excited about about excuse me about watching these again. But to to some of your points, I mean, listen, I mean, the beginning, all these kind of ideas and these and these parts of the story with how Andrea is reacting to looting or how they're going to react with the guts now for the first time and just the, these ideas and. Um, everybody's learning how to fight against these walkers and things. Mm-hmm. That's what everybody loved about the show. That's what everybody loved about the first handful of seasons. Because when you spoke with anybody, especially in the beginning, even if you just start watching the show now, it was always, how would you react to this? No, you yeah. know what I mean? And right. that's what this show was so great at. It posed that question to every, every million, all these millions of people that were watching the show. And that's what was so great about and the show. And had a that's unique story too. That's why. Yeah, it had a real, it had a great story. Had some great actors in the beginning. Um, I can't mention Marl enough, but that's what was was fascinating about the show. And now, it's hard to go back. You can't go back to um, how do we fight against the Walkers because we know that what they what what I've mentioned to you and I've said to to on several videos that that we do with Walking Dead is. Um, let's make the the walkers the threat again. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. That's what yeah. that's what it was before we got to the governor. Before we got to the human enemy part, it was the walkers, and that's what we loved. It was rem- It's so reminiscent of the show of the George Romero Walker, and that's why you say you like some of the speed, you like some of the cognizance from the from the walkers. And I always say I don't. I like the slow moving build up of the walker that's creeping. 100 feet and then he's getting closer to you and now he's over the hill and he's 50 feet close you know right. what i mean that intense suspenseful walker and yeah but and our our characters now can handle that no problem i know i know but what i was what i'm saying is now when you get most of them like you said when we're getting you get tens of walkers groups, yeah. when you're getting 20 so they can still do that you know what yeah. i mean they can still do that and i would love to see that i'm hoping we're going to get some stuff that we that we without spoiling anything in the comic that that the potential is is coming for for uh alexandria and and, and our group and our, our you know our survivors but that's basically what was what was so cool and what i what i miss about these beginning yeah. shows is just is that is that the the threat is not the walker well obviously so as- obviously the, the 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 comic and the show isn't about the walkers. It's about the humanity around it yeah. and inside of it. And yeah. that's the, that's why, you know, that's what Kirkman's done. He's just like, mm-hmm. this is what I, I want to write stories about humans. Cause that's what he's, he's good at. And, um, I don't know. Listen, I'm not it's, saying I like the governor yeah. stuff. I mean, I really did the terminus stuff. That's when I started like, Meh. yeah, you know what I mean, there's a, there's a couple of groups. Um, I still can't remember the group on the road. This, this, the, the claimers or whatever the fuck they were, right? Oh yeah. Claimed, yeah, yeah. claimed, claimed. You know, they were a small group, nothing like what we've seen with um uh Terminus or or Woodbury or right. even with Negan's group. They were smaller guys, but they were intimidating. You know what I mean? And um it's just it's just it's just this this rogue group that kind of you know, it, it's just so much is is has changed. I'm glad that we're doing this again, and I'm glad you're enjoying this stuff. Yeah, so man, it's, it's, let's it's um, you know let's let's do another one, and I hope everybody that's watching enjoys this. And if you haven't watched these in a long time, watch them again. Yeah, just go for it. They're on Netflix. It's, it's, just yeah, I'm sure you got the Netflix. Watch. Just watch yeah, them. Just watch. Come, it's, it's, come, it's a fantastic. Show, yeah, man. and then come over here and talk to us and let us know what you think. Yes. So yes, especially write in those comments there. You know, let us yep. know what you what you think about these episodes. Yep. So where else can they get to us, Mike? Uh, of course, on Third Person Pod and all the social medias. You can write in the comments, like I just said, below on this video. Uh, of course, on Facebook and on our Instagram at Third Person Pod. And don't forget iTunes. Uh, also, don't forget Comic Blitz. 
We have the promotion going with Comic Blitz. Uh, you just type in the, com- uh, the third person pod in the promo code and you get three months of comics for just three bucks, a dollar a month. Don't forget our giveaway that we got going on right now for the Widowmaker Loot Crate exclusive Funko Pop. We got yeah. a few more days with that. So um, check us out. We're all over the place. <laughs> yep, everywhere. That, that's going to do it. Guys, thank, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the season. Uh, yes. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep going with season one. Next is going to be episode three. So check that out and enjoy. Yeah. We'll see you on the next episode. All right. Peace out.